being for me um love starts with with self-love and our greatest teachers have always taught that uh, charity starts at home so that love starts at home love starts with the self i mean for instance if you if you think of the the ways that uh, racism works it really is a projection right i mean it's a projection outward of something that one does not accept in oneself so that um if you project it outward onto somebody else or onto uh, another group of people you can you can live with yourself so that it's it's an evacuation self hatred really is an evacuation and what we are trying to do on this journey it seems to me is to is to is to fill up that emptiness uh with uh with self love that can then be extended outward or projected in um in a different way and i think that's that's the difficult lesson black lives matter awakened us along with the pandemic to the importance of essential workers uh, there's a city group study that said that just regular discrimination ordinary discrimination cost the US economy 16 trillion dollars between 2000 and 2020 uh that if people had been paid fairly and if women had had equal pay uh if if we'd had economic justice everybody would have been 16 trillion dollars rich and i have wondered over the years what to do about nonviolence what to think about uh nonviolence do we think of it only as a tactic uh, is it a is it a philosophy uh, is it a way of life and i think i think the challenge at least as i understand it from uh, the teachings of uh, reverend lawson nonviolence is really um uh, a way of life and it seems to me that it is a very difficult one because it calls upon the individual to have a certain amount of discipline and it's not a discipline that we necessarily learn in american society i have seen change in the worst of people from south georgia to south africa and i have not found anybody yet that um in the right situation will not respond and it doesn't even have to be love it simply has to be respect tension awareness i know who you are and i welcome you into my circle of friends i want to get to know you better and i want you to get to know me and we can help each other grow and i think that's what dr king's ministry was it was breaking down barriers but those barriers are not just between black and white those barriers are between uh gay and straight those barriers are, are, are between all kinds of individual differences You're missing something our job i think is primarily to teach literacy and i'm not talking about in any kind of technical sense but in the widest possible sense of 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 literacy and learning and historical imagination and historical memory i mean all of that really um must be laid i think at the doorstep of of the university why are our institutions uh, failing today i think they are because we have uh, we've surrendered we've surrendered the mandate 
to 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 teach to teach people something other than technically speaking the alphabet but you know the alphabet of living i mean that's 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 the work of uh, that's the work of the academy what i have learned from you about soka have the world on your campus that you probably have more people from more nations than are present in the united nations at any one time and you have a, an extremely valuable opportunity to get to know the world so if i were in an environment like that knowing what i know now uh, every day i would try to eat lunch with somebody from a different country and get to know a little more about where they come from and what their their practices and habits and what their culture is like that the world is going to be the marketplace the world is the marketplace anywhere you work you're going to have to reach out to people all over the world and to say i have a friend from rwanda or nigeria or guatemala uh or um canada uh or japan or korea uh, everywhere i have been and uh, i have learned something that i couldn't have learned in college and that much of what i learned about uh, colonialism and about african uh oppression i learned from the african students that were on my campus and the caribbean students that were on my campus and uh, the european students and and um i i i just i'm fascinated by people who are different from me and have different opinions uh and um the value of a great university is that you can absorb as much from your fellow students uh as you can from any books you read 